This is a special news dabs for the Pro Cannabis Media Group, currently known as Cannabis Multimedia Network. I'm Jimmy Young. Over the next few weeks, we'll be moving forward, expanding our content with new talent and developing our brand as Pro Cannabis Media. We'll be developing relationships with cannabis reporters and correspondents in other states besides our own home state of Massachusetts. One of those correspondents is retired Marine Sergeant Elizabeth Dameron, a research psychologist from New Orleans, Louisiana. Now, Louisiana is one of those states that's trying to remove the archaic laws governing cannabis in that state. They already have a medical program, but as Liz explained so passionately, there are plenty of changes that still need to be addressed. Hello from the Big Easy. I'm Liz Dameron for the Cannabis Multimedia Network. As a board member for the Sensible Marijuana Policy for Louisiana, I've spent many hours recently focused on legislation. And we, like many without a state ballot initiative option, are in the hands of our legislators who unfortunately have no clue as to what CBD, THC, or the Cannabis Sediva plan is all about. Talk about frustrating. So here's what's going on now. HB 491 has passed unanimously through the House and moves on to the Senate. It provides the definition for cultivation, processing, and transportation of industrial hemp. It also allows for hemp-derived CBD products to be sold legally. It also states the Department of Agriculture and Forestry will have ultimate oversight over the program, including adopting and enforcing regulations, conducting testing, and awarding licenses. Sounds like a great plan. However, our Department of Agriculture and Forestry here in Louisiana is run by just one man. That's the commissioner, Mike Strain. So what about CBD? CBD will be able to be sold as long as it's derived from the hemp grown under an approved state plan, meets all labeling standards, and is registered under the Department of Health. No part of the plant can be processed though for inhalation, infused alcoholic beverages, or infused food products. No edibles. The only products allowed are topicals and oils. The silver lining? Proposed law will exempt industrial hemp from the Uniform Controlled Dangerous Substances Law. However, the barely fledgling market has some early identified barriers to entry. Those with felony charges within 10 years or drug-related misdemeanors within two years do not qualify. That is a far cry from the social equity program created by the Massachusetts CCC, but still forward progress from the state who locked a man up for 13 years for the equivalent of one pre-roll. It truly is a whole new world of weed out there. Les les bon temps roulé. From New Orleans, I'm Liz Dameron with the Cannabis Multimedia Network. This has been a Cannabis News Dabs special report for the Pro Cannabis Media Group. I'm Jimmy Young.